Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And this video, we're not going to do any flying. We're just going to go over how to download and install the direct landing script that Dimitri made. So there will be a link in the description down below where you can download the script. So just click on that link to download it. And as I stated with the Lunar Lander suborbital hop, if you get any kind of warnings from your browser that there are you know, potential safety issues with the script, you can go ahead and ignore those. Just keep in mind that the since the download contains Lua scripting files that your browser might throw up some warnings. Uh, but go ahead and download it, it's fine. So let me go ahead and switch camera views here. All right, so once you download the script, let's just kind of take a look at what's, in, what's inside the package so that you can know. So uh, looking here, you can see what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight directories and we have a couple files. So let's just quickly go through these one by one. So if we go into the config directory in the vessels, you can see that you know there's just a handful of files in, inside of here that are configuration files for the script. And I do want to talk about this vessel builder one for just one moment. So that comes from, uh, let me check this out really quick. Let me, if you look at here so there's a there's a guy on orbiter forum called fred 18 and a while back a couple years ago he built this uh vessel builder one so we want to make sure that he gets all proper credit that is due to him but rather than having people download extra stuff and you know and then install direct lander uh, we thought uh, dimitri thought it'd be easier if he kind of just packaged in a couple of things that came from Vessel Builder 1. But just be aware that that uh, was not created by Dimitri, it was created by Fred18, and I'll be sure to include a link in the description to this uh, Orbiter Forum site so you can, you can look more into that if you want. Okay, so beyond that, there's a document directory, which you know technically is optional, but the document directory contains that Vessel Builder 1 a PDF file that uh, Fred18 put together. And then inside the meshes there is there are some additional mes meshes that control some of the different screens that we see. Um, the modules directory, uh, this is this is important to mention. So in order to uh, in order in order to have the script allow it to turn off autopilots in between flights. So you know when you do if you uh, complete a flight successfully and you want to continue or if you fail a flight and want to continue and you press yes to continue there's the default delta glider doesn't have any way to turn off certain autopilots so dimitri opened up the source code for the delta glider and just added just like two little things in there it's just it's a fairly simple edit <clears throat> but when you install the direct landing uh, script just note that you do need to allow it to overwrite the existing Delta Glider DLL. However, there is a backup included inside the zip file, but you won't have any problems. You can continue using the regular Delta Glider DLL all the time. Nothing was taken out and nothing that exists changed. It's just it just added in a couple of extra things so that the script can handle uh, turning off the autopilots. Okay, so that's a look there and you can see like in the plugin, uh, there's a couple of these uh, other DLLs and we'll come back and talk about a couple of these in a moment. And then of course in the scenarios directory there's a scenario file that you'll run and in the script directory there's a direct landing directory and inside of there there's the Lua script that is the brain of the entire thing. And there are some custom sounds inside of sound vessel. It's chugging away on that so there they are. And there are some textures. Uh, don't want to go into that too much because that's maybe a bit of a spoiler. Okay, and just like I mentioned uh, with the suborbital hop, there are, so Orbiter 2016 comes with uh, Lua inline, I said Lua L-line last time for some reason, but it's Lua inline DLL and Lua interpreter DLL. So it comes with those by default. And it also comes with uh, Lua console DLL and Lua MF DLL. Now, these, if you notice the file dates on these, these are the same versions that came with the uh, lunar uh, lander uh, suborbital hop. So technically, if you've installed that one, then you will already have these newer ones. 
but just be aware if you're still using the default DLLs that came with Orbiter 2016, you do need to let it overwrite those DLL files or the script won't work. And again, nothing that is in Orbiter 2016 will break. It's not, these are just simply newer versions, you know, just like a software update. And if you did install the, uh, the suborbital hop script, you can still overwrite these. They're the same file, so you're just replacing the file that you already have with the exact same copy of itself. So might so it's no problem, you know, letting that stuff overwrite. So now installation is really simple. So I'm just going to select everything, however you want to go about it. You can drag over top of it or click the first one, then shift click the last one, whatever your process is. And then I'm just going to press Control C to copy everything. Then I'm going to go into my Orbiter directory, and I'm just going to usually what I'll do is I like right click over here in the white area, and then I'm just going to do paste. And again, those five files I mentioned, it's going to give us some kind of a notification about those. So if we want to look at those, again, we have the Lua interpreter and the Delta glider, the Lua console DLL, the Lua MFD DLL, and the Lua inline DLL. So we need to replace all of those. So it's fine. So I'm just going to say go ahead and continue and do that. And that's it. That's all there is to the installation of the, the lander script. Now, of course, to run it, all we have to do is bring up our orbiter, um, our orbiter launch pad, find the direct landing script within the orbiter launch pad, and then click launch orbiter, and that will kick off everything. Okay, so that's a quick uh, overview of how to download and install the direct landing script. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them. And if I can't answer them, I'll direct them over to Dimitri and he can answer them for you. So with all that said, I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoy this script. If you do get a chance to check it out, be sure to post your results down below, post videos if you record a video of your flight. Uh, whether you make it or not, it's just fun to watch. So uh, please have fun with it and let us know what you think. See you in the next video.